a car mount. Basically, you get this flap. You have to dig your finger in. I just want to make um, a slight announcement early on in this vlog. What I aim to do is walk through the streets of London, showing you all of the cool places you can go and see cars, whether they're in the hotel, and just give you an idea on what the atmosphere is like in London at the moment. However, the weather on Friday evening is supposed to be a thunderstorm, and Sam has sent me the weather forecast from a few different sources, and I've also checked the iPhone weather, and honestly, it looks like the worst bit of rain ever. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and a daily vlog, but not just any daily vlog. For the last three days I've been into central London and been hunting down some pretty insane supercars and I hope you've been enjoying those videos, the daily vlogs and the supercar spotting merged together. Today I'm not going into central London but I'm having a super productive day. We're gonna have so much information coming at you today. It is gonna be unreal. I'm gonna be making phone calls, I'm gonna be doing emails, and right now I'm on my way to SB Race Engineering, so I'm spending all day pretty much in the office. I'm out and about for a meeting with a clothing company, which I'm super excited about, which basically, I'll be able to give you some information about when the Supercars of London merchandise is coming, how you can get involved, how you can help out, um, but I'm also gonna be obviously running competitions, um, so that all of you guys can get involved in these adventures that I'm coming on as well. As much as I would have loved to have been in London today, it's nice to have a day off and not have to walk about 10, km 10 to 15 kilometers, I think I'm doing about every day. 10 to 15 kilometers, my iPhone's telling me. So I'm heading to SB, gonna have lots of answers for you. Clothing, my R8 and my second supercar, and I'm gonna be putting the Montar car mount to the test with the Canon S120 as well to see how it goes. Tunnel! Oh. Excellent, thank you very much. Thanks, Cheers, bye bye. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a phone call with the guy that is representing my car online. And we had a fantastic chat about the car. Um, we talked about the pricing of the car. We talked about of how many people have been interested, how many people have come down to see the car. And it's looking really positive. I'm not gonna say that the car is sold, um, but fingers crossed, the car is likely to be sold minimum. No, what's the white word? I hope the car has gone in two weeks. For those that have been asking about my second supercar, for those that have been asking about when's it coming, what car it is, I've always said that I'm not actively looking on Auto Trader or Piston Heads or anywhere online until my car is sold. And the reason being is, for example, if you're looking at your car or if you're looking at a particular budget online and for some reason you think, do you know what, I'm gonna have 30 grand, I'm gonna have 40 grand, and then all of a sudden the car that you currently have gets sold for slightly less because you start getting a bit fidgety and you want that next car, you sell it for a little bit less. Then those cars that are 40 grand in the higher end of the budget start becoming a bit more unrealistic. So in my um, personal experience or whatever, I always see that the best way to do it is once you've got the money, then you can start actively looking. Does that work? I think that'll work. Hello? So let's say my car gets sold tomorrow. What is the time scale? What are we looking at for my second supercar? If the RA gets sold tomorrow, then obviously there's gonna be that period of the transition between the funds, working everything out, sorting everything out, and everything happens in the same sort of manner as my hands are going at the moment. So money comes in, money goes out, and everything gets settled. And then as soon as I've got X amount of money in the bank account, then it becomes a lot easier for me to look at specific budgets. As you will know of anyone that has bought a car, you have to find the right one. Once you find the right one, you have to find the right deal in that car. And some, some car salesmen are tricky, some of them don't want to give you a deal, some of them don't want to give you a discount. So that could potentially take two weeks, it could take four weeks. It depends on what cars are available on Auto Trader or Piston Heads. Um, but basically, I have a few cars in my head that I could potentially buy. One, obviously, 
is a Lamborghini, a Gallardo, or a Mercedes Largo. The Mercedes Largo, obviously the high uh, running costs are ridiculous. The Gallardo, it's a newer version, and the running costs are slightly cheaper. To answer the question on when is it coming, I still have no idea. It could literally be two weeks time, it could be the end of August, it could be the middle of September. I'm not in any rush to buy my second supercar because I want it to be perfect, I want it to be the right car. Right ladies and gentlemen, I'm off now with the Disney notebook. I'm going out at the Fiat 500 to a meeting, which I'll tell you more in the car when I test out the Montar car mount for the first time with my camera. <sighs> right, so this is brand new. You peel this off and you've got a brand new suction cup. The best way for this to work. <clears throat> So there you go, look how sturdy that is. It can move, <clears throat> right. So now, let's shove you in there. And I have to check that it works. It seems to be working. I hope this is recording. I've had to charge the battery up because I didn't charge it yesterday overnight. So I charged it this morning so that I could continue vlogging. And I'm really excited about this meeting. You may remember when I was at Goodwood, I got mobbed by bugs when I wore the fluorescent t-shirt on the day that me and Sam decided to wear our worst possible t-shirts to Goodwood. I bought that t-shirt from a company called ATW Clothing and they um, sort of reached out to me and said, look, we we're really pleased to meet you at Goodwood. Um, we want to do some more stuff together. So I said, right, one, I'm going to Portugal. I'm going to buy your entire <laughs> website of stuff that you would have seen. I wore quite a lot whilst I was in Portugal. Um, their stuff's awesome. And I'm going to meet them today to, um, well, to basically try and see what we can do, how they can help me get set up with the Supercars of London clothing, because if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you will know that is a huge goal of mine to um, create some really cool looking t-shirts that represent the Supercars of London. Is it recording? I reckon it's recording. I hope it's recording anyway. But guys, what an awesome meeting. Um, as much as I'd have loved to have taken you on the meeting as well, probably would have hindered it slightly. Um, when I vlog, in my head, I'm always thinking about what is good to vlog, what's not good to vlog. And when I was there, there was music playing in the restaurant, but at the same time, it's one of those things where you just want to get down and you want to get as much cross um, as possible in the allotted time that you have. It's almost like, speed dating. I've never been speed dating, but I can imagine it's something like that when you only have a, a certain amount of time and you need to get as much information as cross as possible. But it was, a, it was an important meeting and a really, really cool one. And I really hope that pretty, pretty soon, like I might say like two weeks, we may have like some sample prototypes of the supercars of London clothing. So I'm really excited. Remember, I'm heading back to SB now, but remember to Put into the comment box below if you haven't done already what size you are in t-shirts. And I'm gonna get this Supercars of London merchandise out as soon as possible. There's gonna be loads of cool competitions, loads of cool opportunities, maybe some supercar rides up for grabs. Who knows? Well, I kind of know. A car mount. Basically, you get this flap. You have to dig your finger in. There we go. I think I got it. I think. <laughs> there we go. That thing is sticky. Right guys, that is me done at SB for the day. I'm now headed over to Hemel Hempstead, which is a weird place for me to go on a Thursday afternoon, but I'm headed over there to pick up my girlfriend from some training day that she's had. Um, but anyway, I hope this vlog has been like an informative one because it's one of the first times that I've been back in the office and tried to get some answers as to your questions. My second supercar, the Supercars of London merchandise. So hopefully that's answered some questions. Let me know what you want me to do or how you want me to do my second supercar because 
my first supercar was fantastic, it was a lot of fun to film, but I want to try and innovate, I want to try and make it better, so that my second supercar obviously is a fantastic YouTube series, but I also end up getting the right car next. But like I said, I have no idea what is going to happen at the moment, it's just a case of once the RA goes, then we're going to be in with some information, we're going to know what's going on, so hope you guys can stick with me, and stick with the fact that I'm driving this car at the moment, it, it sucks. It sucks, and I hope my girlfriend isn't watching, but I really, really want to obviously have like a cool car, one that I can film, one that I can review, one that you guys enjoy as well. So that's coming soon as well, but trust me, this evening isn't really going to be a vlog. I'm going out for dinner and then going to watch Ant-Man, so um, let me know whether you've seen Ant-Man. But thank you for watching, thank you so much for the support, Supercars of London, thank you for watching, thank you for watching my old vlogs, thank you for watching my new vlogs. And I'm really, really enjoying just just filming everything that I get up to. It's so cool. Um, and obviously the last three days have been in London. And hopefully you've enjoyed the supercars that I've been seeing. I'm going to be um, periscoping, live broadcasting on Saturday. Remember, Saturday 6pm in central London. It's not going to be Friday because as you will experience or would have... No, no, no. What you'll experience in the next... Well, what... Well, I've lost my mind. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining a lot, or it's predicted to rain a lot. So me and Sam from Seen Through Glass is going to help, uh, be helping me film the Periscope. Um, we are filming it Saturday at 6pm. So if you're watching this at 5pm uh, now on the Friday, then I apologise. But we're having to delay it because of the weather. I think I've mentioned it before. But I will see you tomorrow. The live periscope at 6pm, but also another daily vlog. So, cheers guys. See you then.